Hello, Tyler McAllister here with RV Sales of Oregon. Today's coach is a 2015 Itasca Sun Cruiser gas coach. It's uh, 38Q, and the Sun Cruiser is the upper echelon in the uh, Winnebago slash Itasca uh, food chain. Full body paint, um, like 12,000 miles on it. It's got real low miles. Um, nice bus size mirrors, and it's a big gas coach. It's a V10, it's on their Super Duty chassis. Um, the first thing I look at when I'm looking at gas coaches or one of the things I point out is if you're getting a coach this big, you better have big tires. This has got Michelin 22 and a half. Um, they're, they're 255 ADRs, nice big tires. And the reason why is because regardless of whether it's gas or a diesel motorhome, bigger tires, better drive. Remember that. And um, it's been, um, Michelin's also a great tire. It's a great driving tire. So full body paint. It's got, uh, this coach is chocked full of uh, features and benefits. You got a large awning over the entry door here. Nice big slide out with a patio awning, topper awning on top of that. The real clean, um, low profile exterior um, windows on the coach. It's got nice big storage all the way through. It's got the barn doors that everybody wants. And this coach is slightly used. Uh, the client brought it here. Um, there's lots of added features and benefits in this coach that they added and those things get passed on to you, the consumer. So what you see in this coach is what you get. Uh, batteries are down here, of course, they're like new. Um, that's your, your water tank, your fresh water, your black and gray tanks are in there. I'm gonna shut these doors back real quick. Outside entertainment center here, you got a flat screen Samsung uh, TV for tailgating or whatever you might wanna do. You can... Um, Close that off if you want. Pull your awning out, flip up your TV, and watch your favorite college sport, whatever that may be, NASCAR, whatever. Um, back here, you've got your LP tank. Another one of your tanks is back in here. And the nice thing about Winnebago and Itasca is, is that it's a tried and true uh, product. They've been building coaches for a long time. Uh, they really haven't gone out of business. They're one of the most um, solid companies around. They also are vertically integrated and what I mean by that is, is they manufacture the largest majority of parts and pieces in this motorhome themselves so you don't have to outsource products. Uh, you don't get doors from another door from Joe's cabinet shop. They make all that stuff um, in-house. You've got another storage space here. You've got a lug nut wrench. Um, low point drains are back in here so if you want to winterize the coach or um, drain it, whatever, you can do it from this location here. The other nice thing, remember I talked to you about big chassis, big tires. The other nice thing about this coach is it's got nice high ground clearance. So you don't have to worry about um, dragging the bottom going up driveways, most driveways. This has got higher ground clearance than most coaches do. Uh, the vent indicates there's a washer dryer on the inside. We'll get to that shortly. Um, ladder to climb up on the roof. This is a fiberglass roof so you don't have to worry about that. Um, it sits up high, like I said, 500 pound hitch rating here would equate to a 5,000 pound hitch rating here. So you can tow up to 5,000 pounds with this coach. Um, nice futuristic, like I said, clean lines, sun cruiser, nice molded cap, nice high uh, brake lights. You've got a backup camera up there. This is a triple slide coach. When we get inside in a minute, you'll see just how stylish and functional the floor plan is. Generator, it's an RV QG5500. Um, fuel doors here. Right there. You've got your wet bay is gonna be here. Notice it's real clean, it's real simple easy to keep clean, sanitary, it's plastic, so any, um, any water or anything you get in there is easy to clean and easy to keep sterile. Spray some bleach in there, you're good to go. You've got storage space down below here. I showed you that on the other side of the coach. It's kind of difficult getting into it um, here. Round to the front, you have a um, driver's side door here, steps to get up. In Oregon, it's a nice feature to have, or anywhere. Um, 
in Oregon, unfortunately, you, uh, it's, it's uh, not self-serve, so as far as fuel goes, open your door up, open your window up, hand the attendant the key, they can fuel your coach for you. So now we'll go inside. Of course, it's got um, one-piece windshield, nice bus style, um, like I said, mirrors, and also wiper blades, wiper arms, so you can get that, because that's a big pane of glass. You want to be able to get all the rain and stuff you can off of it when you're um, driving down the road. One of the nicest features about Winnebago, and they do a really good job of it, is all of your major switches are right here. So you've got your, um, your chassis and your house battery disconnects are right here. So when you walk into the coach, power up your coach, get in the habit of when you walk out the door, turn it off. That, that's going to extend the life of your batteries and it's going to eliminate you getting out to your coach to go to Disneyland or wherever you're going to go. Turn it over and find out that you don't have any power. You've got awnings, switches here, and you also have your level um, right here, your, your uh, auto levels, as well as your compartment lights. All right here, all makes sense. Like I said before, Winnebago thought most of this stuff out and they build a real good mousetrap. Inside, nice high storage. You've got uh, soft touch roof. Cockpit area is real roomy. Like I said, powered by a Ford V10. You've got a uh, driver's side door here, which is a lot of people are looking for. You have um, solar shades, night shades, and heated mirror controls here. This is an MC this coach has MCD shades throughout, so they're not the um, old school. Um, Day-night shades where the strings would break all the time. These are the nice, um, quiet MCD shades. Backup camera, you know, your controls are pretty, pretty common to uh, most vehicles. Got a nice beverage tray here, nice low dog house. The dash is flat, it's easy to see out the, you got a good field of vision. Side mirrors are in good location. They're not pushed back here behind the A-pillar. Um, it's just a real thought, well thought out coach. Your um, leveling system is right here. Both of these seats, as you can see, swivel, they turn around, so they join the area back here. Lots of storage space up above here. Okay, you got your electronics over here. Here's your LG uh, Blu-ray player. All your uh, plug-ins and everything for your system are back here neatly organized, easy to get to, um, storage space up above here. This has your um, wheel size, your gross axle weight rating, all your weights and tire sizes are all right here, as well as your uh, combined weight rating. You've got nice hooks here to hang keys on here, down here, and then you move back into here. This is a living room area, you've got a nice sized uh, L-shaped sofa with a couple ottomans. These ottomans also lift up and you can store stuff in down inside. You've got a laminate floor that you walk into here, back into the kitchen area. Got a nice, um, well thought out, well designed floor plan here in the kitchen area. Lots of windows, lots of space. Cabinets, cabinets here. You got to pull out here so you can put cereal, coffee, whatever you want to do there. And they're nice deep cabinets with a real nice, well finished um, backsplash area. Cooktops over here. It's a three burner um, Atwood gas stove. High tech Whirlpool. Huge microwave. You got plenty of room in here. You could almost put two nice sized dinner plates in here. Not quite, but close. LED lights. Um, cabinets down below here. Storage space here. A nice bank of, uh, there's your silverware drawer. You've got three more drawers here. No oven in this coach. With this microwave, you really don't need an oven anyway. You've got nice pot and pan drawers down here. And nice pull out built in shelving in two areas up above and down below here. Moving over to the passenger side, or excuse me, the driver's side of the coach. Huge LG flat screen TV, um, fireplace, surround sound system here. Lots of usable space if you, um, 
you have a fairly large family or you just want to tailgate or entertain people, this is a great motorhome to do that in. 38Q, so if you go to Winnebago and you type in Sun Cruiser 38Q, the schematic or the floor plan of this coach is going to come out. Remember earlier I was telling you about Winnebago and how they're vertically integrated? If you look at all these doors and if you've been to Winnebago dealer, they're pretty well versed at um, telling you this. This sticker here is on every one of these doors and it's a part number. So if this door breaks or comes loose, comes apart, you can pick up the phone, call Winnebago and give them this number and they'll ship you this door. It may cost you something, but at least they have it. Um, you got storage space back here behind the dinette. A couple drawers here, a back bar across here. Like I said, nice jealousy windows all the way through the living area. Lots of deep cabinet space here all the way through, clear over to here. And it's one big area, so you don't have a partition, which actually gives you a lot more storable, usable space. The tables pull out comes out there should be another leaf that goes in here there should also be two more chairs that go here so you could accommodate four people here uh, at your dining area you could set a card table up and have a lot of people here as well that l-shaped sofa does make down into a bed um, you have a flip up countertop extension here that comes out to give you more space more counter space pull this back down Huge Whirlpool residential refrigerator freezer. So you got this here. Nice freezer section down below. And like I said earlier, with the low miles on this coach, it's in like new condition. It was slightly used at best. Um, it's very clean. There's no smells. There's no pets, no smoke, no nothing. It just needs you to come and buy it and drive it away. Um, your command center is what I like to call it. Slide out controls are all here um, for your slides. You've got a uh, controller here for your um, zones, for your AC and your heat. Um, tank and battery condition indicators all right here. You've got your power control system, which basically manages your energy, uh, the input coming into the coach. You've got an inverter on here. You also have a start for your uh, generators all right here as well. So, generator cranks right up, and rightfully it should. So, pocket door comes across here to close this area off. It's mirrored on the back side here so you can uh, check your look before you head out to a cocktail party. Back here into the, ba the bathroom area, you've got another pocket door, obviously, that closes this area off. Nice sized um, shower here. Nice light here. Uh, we got some AC ducting up here, whatnot, to get some nice flow of uh, air, fresh air going through here. Nice little vanity, medicine cabinet here. More storage space down below here. This is a molded sink, so it's easy to keep clean. You don't have to worry about anything there. Moving over here into the bathroom area. A door comes open. You have another sink in there, another medicine cabinet, nice um, residential style stool, a window, a jealousy window so you can evacuate some air and stuff there, and then more storage space up above here, and it's all adjustable so you can adjust it to whatever height you want. Nice towel bar here, toilet paper holder. All the stuff that you would expect in your bathroom is actually in your bathroom. Back here, you have another pocket door that closes this area off here, so you can close, you can segregate the bathroom from um, the living room and the bedroom, so you've got nice privacy. Nice size bed here, it's a power bed, the whole thing flattens out um, once you get your slide room out. It um, also, you can make it firmer or softer based on your own comfort level here. Storage space up above here as well as over here. You've got a couple cubby holes. You've got a cubby hole up here, one over there. If you want to put a CPAP machine or something like that in there, you can. Your light switches are all here. Actually, this is for your power bed. You can push this button and this whole bed comes out, flattens out. 
Um, I believe this is something that uh, is proprietary to Winnebago slash Itasca as well. Nice big wardrobe area across here. Okay, you've got a lot of hanging space across here. Goes all the way across. Back into here. And then you've got a series of four nice big deep drawers across this area here. And then you have, as soon as I unsnap this, little barn door there with a stack washer dryer. Nice big rear window out here to see out the back if you really wanted to. A lot of people like having a window that they can look out in their bedroom. You've got windows at the ends of each slide out there, which give you some cross ventilation. You can also open this rear window up if you want to. It is an egress window, so if you need to evacuate the coach in a rather rapid manner, you might just pull these two handles and dive out the back. Nice flat screen TV right here. It's on a uh, pivot, so you can pivot the TV out, put it here closer to the foot of the bed. <coughs> Very nice coach, very clean, slightly used, low price. Here at RV Sales of Oregon, we're located in Eugene on Highway 99. We're about 10 minutes from the airport. Pick up the phone and call me. The main thing is get a hold of me, get here, and drive this thing away. Thank you.